Hey, how's it going guys? Josh here. Today I'll be showing you how to take a full page screenshot on your iPhone. Let's get into it. To successfully do this, what you want to do is go into Safari, click into there, or any web browser should actually do. But for the sake of this example, we'll use Safari. So you'd want to go into whatever article or web page you're trying to take a screenshot of. In this example, I've got an article about climbing Mount Everest, you know, fun. Uh, past time to get involved in I suppose and uh, what you want to do at this point is to take a screenshot so if you don't know how to do that on your iPhone you'd want to press the power button on the right hand side and one of the volume buttons on the left hand side so the power button and the volume up button on the left hand side once you do that the screen flashes and you get a small box at the bottom corner so press that and then that brings up the screenshots you just took. So you'd notice at the top it says full page. So that's what you'd want to do if you'd want to have the full screen and not just a picture of the section that is visible on the screen at that time. So we'll click on full page and you'd notice that the view changes and you see this um, sort of scroller on the right hand side that allows you to scroll through the entire document so this actually becomes a pdf which is really cool uh, the app allows you to do this so this instantly becomes a pdf and um you could because it's a pdf you can actually annotate you could draw on it you could highlight you could you know circle parts of it and send it to a friend um, if it's an interesting article you could write your comments <laughs> and send off to friends. So it's 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 really interesting. Uh, so when you're done with that and you're happy with all your modifications, if any, you click on done, top left of your screen, and it brings up a few options. So I'll talk you through each of these options. So the very first one saves it as a PDF to your files. That's pretty straightforward. So that'll allow you to save it either locally on your iPhone or to your iCloud drive if you use iCloud so you do that if you want uh, the other option is copy and delete which is one i actually prefer so you don't actually have to store it anyway if you don't want to and of course the final one is if you actually don't want to do this anymore you can just delete the screenshot so let's go with copy and delete so i'll copy this so that gets rid of the file so it's no longer there and then i would go to the home screen and um, go into notes and i'll paste it here because that's how you meant to do this so of course you can do this in iMessages or um, WhatsApp or wherever else you want to use whatever you've just done. So we'll paste that and you, you, it takes a second, but as you can see, it's fully pasted into the notes. So this is an actual proper PDF that you can use, you can refer to, you can tap on it so it opens it full screen and uh, you can sort of scroll through and enjoy it. And as you can see, it preserves all the annotations I made at the point of taking the screenshot so yeah that's um very cool very cool stuff click done here and um that goes back to where we were okay guys that's been it i hope you enjoyed that um, i'll try to do many more of these short straight to the point type uh, tip videos if you've got any requests for future videos you'd like me to make or topics you'd like me to cover please put them in this comment section below and i'll be sure to go over them and get to them as soon as I can. So that's been it guys. Till next time, as always, and as usual, be fantastic. I'll catch you later. See ya.